A very warm welcome to everyone. This video is a part of our Gindi Times Intern Diary series, and I am A. Vishnu Vartan, pursuing my third year in civil engineering from College of Engineering Gindi, and also a member of the Gindi Times, the official campus magazine of CEG, AC Tech, and SAP. Today we have the LNT intern Varun Subramanian with us. Hello, Varun. Please introduce yourself. Hi, Vishnu. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I'm a fourth year student at College of Engineering, Gindi, and I'm currently pursuing my uh, bachelor's degree in civil engineering. Uh, I recently just uh, interned at LNT for close to 40 days. Okay. And what did really um, inspire you to do that internship? In that too, in that particularly LNT company, which is a very well known and renowned brand. Uh, so yeah, Vishnu, just like you said, uh, the fact that uh, LNT is an MNC and just so well reputed, not only in India but uh, you know uh, all over the world, that was definitely one a key factor which led to me uh, wanting to intern at LNT. And moreover, um, it's it, this is now my first internship, uh, so I wanted to get an, uh, a different feel as to how different companies uh, work with. Uh, their trainee students or their um, people who are new to their company. I just wanted to see how different people work and I wanted to uh, see what I could take from that. So this is what mainly uh, pushed me to go choose LNT. Wow, that's really interesting. And uh, what is the procedure to apply for LNT? Because many of our CG students, civil students are aspiring to do an internship there. And uh, what is the procedure? Uh, so... There is, um, I don't think there's exactly a fixed procedure as such to uh, join LNT. So how I uh, I went about this was, um, I did write a, a quite a few cold emails and I sent it to a bunch of HRs. And I also tried to reach out to some uh, HRs and some executives of LNT uh, on LinkedIn. Uh, so I just so happened to have been lucky to have stumbled across uh, a HR from the uh, building and factories sector of LNT, and uh, so they reached out to me, and uh, we took it forward from there. Okay, then uh, how to prepare ourselves for that um, selection process, and what are the skills that uh, any intern should require to get selected? Um, so, in my opinion, um, I think it is uh, important to recollect what uh, theoretical subjects that you're taught in college. Like, um, so I primarily wanted to do my in, uh, internship under the structural division of LNT. And um, so I think it definitely uh, helps to uh, recapitulate all the structural courses that are taught during your uh, bachelor's curriculum. And yeah, that definitely did help me to uh, prepare for the internship. Okay. Then, um, how was your internship experience? The what are the different uh, projects that you did? So, uh, my internship experience was actually uh, it was not exactly what I expected because it was a lot more than what I uh, thought I would be given. So, uh, I initially did not think I would be given a project to handle. So, I was. Uh, given an entire project, or rather I was given a sector of an entire project and uh, I worked on that and that that kept me occupied for like close to 30, 35 days. Uh, and on, on the whole, it was definitely much more than I expected and I was really happy with the outcome of the internship. Okay, that's really interesting. And what did you learn from that entire internship? Um, so, uh, like I already mentioned, um, I wanted to do a, I wanted to do an internship under the structural division. So, what I learned from that internship, uh, like under a civil engineering perspective at least, is um, I learned a lot re uh, re re regarding seismic analysis. So, I dive deep into response spectrum analysis of uh, residential buildings. Uh, so, from a civil engineering perspective, that's what I learned. But from you know just from a from a student perspective. Uh, I definitely learned a lot of time management skills. I learned how to talk to uh, people who are like how to talk formally to to any like your boss, like send an email. 
Uh, so yeah, these are all the things that uh, I definitely did learn a lot from this internship. So these were a few of the things that I did from, learn from there. Okay. And um, what are the skills that every civil engineer should learn to excel in the field? Uh, I think that's uh, kind of a broad question. So uh, as you yourself know, as a civil engineer, civil engineering is like a really broad field. Uh, so it really depends on what that civil engineer wants to uh, get into. Like um, you, you can be interested in like water resources. You can be interested in uh, I don't know uh, remote sensing. So it it completely depends on the civil engineering student that we're talking about. So uh, definitely try to uh, understand more than the theoretical aspect of what is being taught in college and try to get into the practical aspect of it as well. And you told that you are interested, uh, particularly in the field of um, structural engineering. And what you what made you like that? Uh, I'm not sure. I think it was more like more of a process of elimination. Uh, I don't think I was more. I don't think I was interested in the other fields as much as the structural engineering field. I did uh, initially start off with the transportation field of civil engineering, but I realized that I had more of an inclination towards structural engineering. So I guess ultimately by the process of elimination, structural engineering is where I landed. Okay. What are your future plans? Uh, I plan on, I plan on doing my masters in structural engineering and uh, I would like to subspecialize with um, earthquake engineering. Um, so my plan is to ultimately get into the industry and see how it goes from there. Okay, that's really interesting. And what did you expect when you enter into LNT for internship? Uh, quite honestly, I did not know what to expect at all because it was just very. Uh, I, I I wasn't expecting to have landed the internship from LNT, but uh, having did, having landed the internship, um, I, I wasn't sure what. A role I would be assigned because of the magnitude of LNT, considering that it's so big. Um, so I really just went with an open mind and I was ready to do uh, like anything that they'd ask me to. Okay. The answer was really interesting. And uh, in uh, the entire field of civil engineering, people what they think is civil is all about building construction. And what more is there to explore in that engineering? Um, this, this, I mean, like I, like I said before, civil engineering is like a really, really, really broad field. So, uh, it, I mean, there's so many sub-specializations that you could do under civil engineering that construction just makes up a small part of it. Like you could be under like the design bracket of it, or you could like go like completely away from construction and like, you know, do some probability analysis or something along those lines. So it's it's a really wide it's a really broad field and it's it's kind of disheartening to just say that it's construction alone okay what are the research prospects available in the civil engineering field i'm i'm not entirely sure about uh, the res research uh, in detail i i'm aware of that i'm aware of the fact that there is uh, the possibility to expand a lot with respect to smart cities and stuff, but I don't know the intricate details of it. Um, but but I but I do know that there is a, a wide scope for research in civil engineering, but I'm just not too specific with the specific de like with the details of it. Okay, and uh, by doing this internship, does it help you to become a more industry oriented person? Uh, yeah, definitely, Vishnu. Uh, the internship helped a lot to understand how a company works, how how people function, how how a day goes about in the life of someone in the industry. So it definitely did give me a, a good chunk of insight as to how the industry will be look like. Okay. It's uh, interesting to know that. Uh, your opinions about the civil industry and uh, the internships available and uh, thank you for giving this wonderful interview for us and what um, what do you think about our uh, intern diary series 4.0
like the, with the uh, I was an intern from various companies uh, i'm i'm really excited that you guys are doing this because um let not only for the fourth year students right now but i also think that this could be really helpful for anyone from first year to third year because it just gives them um more it gives them more free information about how different people have managed to do internships and what they do in it so i'm definitely excited about this um, the intern diaries thank you thank you